Hey everybody, how's it going? I am your host Adrian, coming to you almost live from lovely Petaluma, California, here in Studio MC2 at QuickSurf Internet Studios. The Geekinator is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Do feel free to head on over to techpodcast.com and check out all the other technology-related shows over there as well. I would like to encourage everybody to visit us online over at quicksurf.com. Please do subscribe to the show if you have not already done so. And uh, for those of you who have, thank you so much for subscribing. Let's uh, go ahead and get into some of the cool stuff I found for this episode. Starting off over at uh, PCWorld.com, Sprint to launch Wi-Fi calling, but slowly. Sprint has said that it plans to roll out software updates that will allow users to place calls via Wi-Fi, but only on two relatively little used smartphones. In the next few weeks, and I'm using air quotes here for those of you who aren't watching the video, Sprint will begin rolling out the update for its Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini and S4 Megaphones. Uh, they plan to bring the Wi-Fi calling update to an additional devices in 2014. So, pretty interesting. Uh, I am curious to see what comes of this. I'll be keeping an eye on this. Uh, I used to be a Sprint customer before I switched to AT&T, and I actually really had no problem with Sprint other than at the time they didn't have the iPhone. So, uh, you know, it was one of those things where it was like I really wanted to get an iPhone and it was easier to just simply switch carriers. All, you know, my phone and plus all the other phones that I had with Sprint uh, were out of contract. So it didn't cost me anything to switch over to AT&T other than the cost of a new phone. And I've been with AT&T ever since. So... Uh, from uh, NewYorkDailyNews.com, Facebook to buy WhatsApp for $19 billion. This I am actually shocked and amazed at. Um, I believe I have WhatsApp on, yes, I do have WhatsApp on my phone. Um, unfortunately, I guess, unfortunately, I don't use it that much. Uh, most of my friends are on iMessage. But... Uh, Still, pretty neat. Um, Facebook is buying mobile messaging service WhatsApp for $19 billion in cash and stock, by far the company's largest acquisition and bigger than any that Google, Microsoft, or Apple has ever done. Facebook obviously wants to, to get into mobile messaging. Um, strangely enough, I use Facebook, but at the same time, I don't use Facebook's messaging app. So, uh, pretty interesting. Anyway, uh, the world's largest social networking company has said that it's paying $12 billion in Facebook stock and $4 billion in cash for WhatsApp. In addition, the app's founders and employees, 55 in all, will be granted restricted stock worth $3 billion that will vest over four years after the deal closes. So, pretty awesome. Uh, man, there you go. <laughs> that makes me want to go and make a mobile messaging app. <laughs> From PCMag.com, what to expect at Mobile World Conference 2004. Mobile World Conference is roaring back. Um, pretty interesting. The show is in Barcelona. It's six hours later than the East Coast and nine hours later than the West Coast. So uh, phones and tablets wise, um, we may be seeing uh, the first fruit of the new relationship between Foxconn and BlackBerry. Digital Trends is also reporting uh, that the chairman of Foxconn said that they display the first Fox Foxconn berries in Barcelona. So uh, should be pretty interesting. HTC is holding several small events throughout the show. Um, should be pretty interesting to see what they've got. Huawei's Curveball may be a smartwatch. Interesting. Uh, LG has already introduced its G Pro 2 phablet in Korea, and it will get a worldwide debut Sunday at Mobile World Conference, so pretty cool. We also should see the 4.7-inch G2 Mini. Uh, Miezu is a high-class Chinese, high-end Chinese phone manufacturer, and they're expected to announce a North America-compatible LTE packing version of its Slim MX3 smartphone, so pretty cool. Uh, Nokia is expected to unveil the Nokia X. Samsung is expected to uh, debut the Galaxy S5. Uh, Sony and ZTE are also going to have some announcements, so pretty
pretty interesting overall. We'll be keeping an eye on it uh, in the uh, upcoming week to see what comes of it. From the Almagest, scientists create a powerful muscle fiber from fishing line and sewing thread. An international team led by researchers from the University of Texas, Dallas, has created artificial muscle fibers from a polythylene fishing line and a nylon sewing thread, which could successfully replace the much weaker and expensive synthetic muscles produced today. Sounds like somebody's, I don't know if you heard that, but sounds like somebody's car alarm just went off. Not mine. Uh, researchers twisted a coiled and high strength polymer fishing line and sewing thread to create an extremely powerful artificial muscle that has the ability to both contract and relax. So I'm curious to see uh, the specifics uh, behind this. Um, I thought I'd share it here with you guys because it's sciencey and pretty neat. From Clean Technica, Dot com thermoelectrics get a big boost from nanoscale pillars creating electricity from heat thermoelectric materials can see their performance radically improved via the utilization of an array of nanoscale pillars according to a new research from the university of colorado boulder these tiny pillars built directly onto the thermoelectric material represent an entirely new approach to a problem that's limited thermoelectrics since the birth of the field. Uh, the researchers that discovered this think that the new approach may lead to great improvements to a number of different technologies from solar panels to cooling equipment uh, to conventional fossil fuel power plants. So pretty interesting, definitely check it out. Olympic record on Mars, what? Yes, the Curiosity rover is driving backwards to test its skills and wheels. Unimpressed by Michael Jackson's iconic moonwalk? How about a Mars walk? Uh, NASA's Curiosity rover showed off its fancy footwork on the red planet this week by driving backwards, which obviously or apparently is not something it does with any regularity. Um... The Mars Science Laboratory robot just finished its longest drive in three months, and it did it in reverse, riding 329 feet, reaching a total of 3.24 miles since its 2012 touchdown in Gale Crater. Um, this wasn't just to test the rover's skills for fun. They're doing it to save the rover's thin aluminum wheels from further, more serious damage. Uh, they just wanted to make sure that they had a tool in the toolbox that they could use in the right circumstances. Um, okay, uh, still pretty interesting. From uh, AJC.com, there's a new advanced telescope that lets NASA see inside supernovas. Pretty awesome. Uh, there's a breakthrough in the mystery of supernovas. Using a new telescope, NASA says it now knows the inside story of explosions that happen within. The Nuclear Spectroscopic Telescope Array, or NUSTAR for short, shows that a cocktail of radioactive gases and elements literally sloshes around the belly of a star before it explodes, similar to how bubbles rise in boiling water. So the state-of-the-art telescope developed by NASA and the California Institute of Technology looked at the ever-expanding remnants of Cassiopeia A, a uh, star that went supernova 11,000 years ago. They were dumbfounded as to why computer simulations, simulations of supernova explosions sometimes didn't play out like the real thing. The telescope has revealed a previously invisible element, titanium-44, powering it all. So, pretty cool. Definitely uh, check it out. They've got a video here. Uh, pretty neat stuff. That will do it for this edition of The Geekinator. As always, everything we've talked about is linked up in the show notes, which you can find online over at quicksurf.com. Please do subscribe to the show if you haven't already done so. The links to do so are also in the show notes for each and every episode over on the website. And uh, with that, I will see all of you on the next episode. See you then. Bye.